Oh, how do you work your budget? Oh, no. It wouldn't work for me anyway. Oh, it might, Jack. See? This is my camera graph. That's the way I kept track of my progress in saving for the camera. Well, what does the graph mean? Well, along this side over here, I have the savings marked off. And the weeks are marked along the bottom. I aimed at this dotted line to save $2 a week for 20 weeks. And then I'd have my camera. I almost made it, too. But then a couple of times I slipped and didn't save my $2 that week. But I finally made it. And now oh, it looks like a good idea. What's this one here? Well, that's for the tripod I want. I'm doing better on this graph. It's a lot easier now that I've done it once. Yes, Ralph has a budget and a method of saving that shows results. If Jack were as determined to get a camera, if all of us were as determined to save for things we want, perhaps we could budget successfully and get some of them. What about it? Is it easy to make a budget work? How do you make a budget? Is just a graph enough? A few days ago, Jack saw an example of a budget. The budget his family uses. Out of its total weekly income, Jack's family allows so much for food, household, clothing. Each part of their regular expenses is allowed for in the budget. And they try to make their expenses regular so as to follow the budget as closely as possible. Yes, even Jack's allowance for his work around the house is part of the family budget. And there's a provision for savings, even with all those other expenses. So the family has a budget which allows for savings. Can Jack do any saving out of his income? Well, let's see. Let's take a look at it. There's that work at home allowance of $2 a week. And Jack earns $6 a week working part time in the library. Now combine these two and we have Jack's total income, $8 a week, for Jack's expenses and what he can save. Let's see. Regular, predictable expenses like lunch money, car fare, and then the expenses that aren't quite so easy to predict. Personal expenses, after-school snacks. Uh -huh. Now let's try to hold that down to 50 cents and save more. Then school supplies and entertainment, movies, and dates. There, does that handle Jack's expenses? Look, there's $3 left for savings. That's more than Jack expected. He'd better write down a list of expenses to watch. Too many movies, too much candy. And maybe Jack can try Ralph's idea of a graph. When you save for a specific goal or purpose, it's easier to stick to the budget if you have a visual reminder. Three dollars a week for 14 weeks will do the trick. Jack got underway in fine style. The fourth week, this caught Jack's eye. One dollar, hmm? That'll knock a hole in the budget. Maybe not save so much this week. No. Want that camera. Budgets ought to allow for this sort of expense. Why, Jack's budget does allow for it. Entertainment, that's right. That's simple. Just don't go to any movies this week. But that show at the Strand. Wanted to see that. And it won't be on next week. Can't go to both that and the class mixer. Have to choose. More fun at the mixer. That's what it'll be. Well, you can't have everything you want, and Jack wants a camera. Uh, peach soup? No, a uh, Coke, please. Make it two. Right. No, Jack doesn't have to follow his budget, but he has made his own rules to save for a camera. As long as he follows those rules and chooses to save, he'll find that the pennies certainly add up at the end of the week. But not all choices are so easily made. That'll be some football game, and Jack wants to go. Who wouldn't? Well, where can this fit into the budget? Perhaps the money for entertainment and... No, he's already used that for Dad's birthday next week. 
It's either no savings this week or no game. So, to go to the game and not save anything this week means setting his camera back one week. Jack decides the game is worth postponing the camera for one week. He notes the expense in his little book. But that pen, the one he's had so long, has to break now. Have to buy a new one. See, this budget business is no good. Jack doesn't see how anybody makes it work. But by the time he gets home, Jack has thought it out. And he knows that when you want something hard enough, you can find ways to save for it. One way to keep the budget going is to make things do. Jack knows how to fix that leaky pen with a little cement. Not as good as new, but it'll hold for a while. So Jack goes on trying to stick to his revised schedule. But a few weeks later, his repair job gives out. He just has to buy a new pen. This one, which fits within his 50 cent school supplies budget, is not a good buy at any price. But to pay for this one, he'd have to take some out of his savings. He knows, however, that buying cheap, unsatisfactory products is never thrifty. So, even though this pen will make him draw money from his savings account, it is a better buy and a necessity. But Jack isn't going to let that setback stop him. He still wants that camera. By saying no to extravagance. By finding ways of entertainment that don't cost money. By fixing things and making them last. Jack keeps going toward that goal. Every week seems a little easier until finally Jack makes it. Right on schedule. Isn't that a honey? It was really worth saving for. As Jack gets a better idea of what he can do, he reorganizes his figures to save better and spend better. He's making new plans. How about you? How will you do it? <laughs>